Jill Tavares is the new mayor in the city of Providence, and he is uh, on stage right now talking to his supporters. He defeated Jonathan We're Scott in the tonight. We're city tonight, and I want to take one moment, one moment to recognize someone who might be watching tonight. That's Councilman Terry Hassett. If his family is watching tonight, if Councilman is watching, let you know you're in our thoughts and our prayers. We want you to get well soon. This is a historic victory for our team, for the city of Providence, and for the Democratic Party. A party that embraces diversity and has provided hope and opportunity for generations of Americans from all walks of life and all ethnic and cultural backgrounds. A party that has made it possible for a son of immigrants from the Dominican Republic to become mayor of the city of Providence. Each of you, each of you has played an important role in today's election and in upholding our party's ideals. I'm proud to call myself a Democrat and I'm proud to join you in celebrating tonight's victory. As I stand here this evening, I reflect on the unlikely journey that began that cold, wet February morning in Oneyville when I first offered my vision for Providence's limitless potential and vow to bring that message to every corner of our great city, and that's exactly what we did. We assembled the greatest volunteer organization the city has ever seen, and we went door to door from Hartford Avenue to Hope Street, connecting with thousands of Providence residents whose optimism for this great city has, n has not been dampened by the many challenges they face on a daily basis. Of course, this would not have been possible without the hundreds and hundreds of volunteers who believed in this campaign and who helped us in so many ways. To each and every one of you, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. A todos, a todos y cada uno de nuestro voluntario le digo gracias, gracias, gracias. There is one very special person who I would like to acknowledge and who is perhaps the person most responsible for this unlikely journey. A person who instilled in me her strong values and determination and sacrificed each and every day working endless hours to provide for her family and ensure that we were prepared to pursue our dreams. That person is my mother Milagros. Gracias, mami. Si se puede, si se puede. Her example taught me that through hard work and perseverance, anything is possible. And most importantly, there are no insurmountable challenges. Today, Providence is home to thousands of residents who, just like my mother, face difficult decisions every day, who must make extraordinary sacrifices and work very hard to make ends meet in the hopes of improving the lives of their families, their communities, and their city. They come from all walks of life and speak many languages, and they are fundamentally what makes this such a great city. They are the reason why I ran for mayor, and they are the reason we are going to work so hard to move this city forward, beginning right now. Providence is a great city with limitless potential. However, our city currently faces very serious challenges. Challenges that will require decisive action, difficult decisions, and sacrifice. The decisions we make will have lasting consequences that transcend the city's boundaries and impact our entire state. Providence is the state's economic and cultural heartbeat. As goes Providence, so goes Rhode Island. That is why I call upon you, my fellow Democrats, at every level of government, to help us ensure the long-term sustainability and success of our great capital city and our state. Together we can make Providence and the state of Rhode Island into national examples of what is possible when people work together towards a common goal. Together we can create jobs, together we can strengthen our schools, and together we can make our great city of Providence even greater. I know we will succeed. Thank you.